<laughs> All right, uh, now we're going to turn our attention to the Spurs, who turn their attention to Golden State for tomorrow night's huge showdown. How surprised are you with how the Warriors are struggling now without Kevin Durant? I'm really not surprised. I mean, they they, they grew uh, a team bond, and they, and they grew an identity with Kevin Durant. And he was a big part of the, 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 what, they, what they were doing in their offense. You see now, when they had Kevin Durant, it was they was going to him first. Then Steph was making his plays. Then Clay and Draymond. Now these guys aren't used to scoring and taking all these shots because KD was taking them. Now they got to figure out how to get back to the team that they were without KD when they won the championship. So they haven't found it yet. I mean, this is definitely not the team that we're going to see in the playoffs. But at the same time, they got to find a way to get up, get some wins, and find an identity without KD. So when he comes back, they can just pick up to where they left off. Do they rely too much on Kevin Durant? I'm not going to say they rely on him because the way they play, they play a team game, up, up style tempo. But he's a big part of what do they do. You know, he's 20, 28, 29 point scorer a game. So he's a big part of what they do. And they've been having him all year. And not having him now, you know, you've been playing with him this certain way all season. You guys, it's going to take a while to figure it out, but hopefully it won't be too long before Katie come back. It's just strange to me, Stephen, that a team that has gone to back-to-back -to -back finals, they it seemed like the stars on that team took a step back to allow Kevin Durant to have his moment to run the offense, to, to build. You know, They put their offense around him, not having him try to fit into what they were doing, which was quite successful, and it's almost like they've lost their way. Well, it, it, it looks like that. It kind of looks like that, especially now losing three games in a row. But you have to for Durant. He's one of the best players in the league. Yeah, but so yeah, some Curry, kind of too. You had, you had a two-time MVP right there already. Right. right. I think, I think you know, they those two guys knew that their light was green. They could do anything on offense, and it's really their team. But you have to some kind of way cater to Kevin, to Kevin uh, Durant with the way the uh, – because uh, he's a great player. He's a great scorer. And the thing about it – they miss him more on defense than offense right now. Hmm. If you look at the games, teams are scoring, and they're, they're not scoring. So just as much as they miss him on offense, they miss him on defense because Kevin Durant was having his best year on defense. And I got to credit that to Draymond. I think Draymond really lit a fire on them to let him know that he has to be, you know, a, a physical defensive presence and block shots, and KD's been doing that. So, Stephen, I know this is kind of like asking a parent to pick between their two kids, asking a former player to pick between his two teams, but do you think the Spurs could overtake the Warriors in the West this season? Definitely would not. Without, without a healthy Durant, you know, we're not, we're not 100% Durant, I think they definitely have a chance. Obviously, you know, the Spurs haven't been getting anything from Ginobili and uh, Tony Parker, so the other guys on the team really going to have to step up. I think Kawhi's doing his job. Danny Green's been a disappointment, but uh, if some kind of way these role players can step up and, and, and play well in the in the in the playoffs. You know, they have David Lee. They have some guys that've been around. Uh, Paul Gasol, he's back. Uh, I love the way Patty Mills is playing, but Kawhi needs some help. And in order for them to beat the, the Warriors, uh, a lot of guys on that team got to step up and have big games. So when the regular season is over, who wins the West? Spurs or Warriors? KD's healthy. Golden State. KD's on, on the rocks, and uh, Kawhi's continue to play like he's playing. I'm going with San Antonio. Okay.